Good morning, everyone. Hi! Oh, it feels so good to be back to the recording. Hi. I was only sick for a week. No voice at all. Which is why this episode is even later than I usually put them out, by the way. Now then, as of the moment of this recording, I have exactly 64 subscribers. And as we all know, 64 is the perfect number. So to celebrate this moment, I did some mining. And I have here exactly 64 diamond ore. Let's break it open, huh? Ah, oh, would you look at this view from the top of my very expensive nerd pole. Lovely. You always forget just how high up 64 blocks is. Okay. Let's go. Alright, there we are. I filled up my hot bar with golden carrots so that we can see how much we got together. I have no idea. Let's check this out. Okay. Ooh. Two stacks plus nine. It's like 137, right? <laughs> I'm rich. I could buy the world. Oh, speaking of things I should buy, let's make a shopping trip. Now, before we head into the nether, you should know I've been a little bit of a busy bee since I was sick and couldn't record, I worked on some long grindy projects, and well... I've decorated some nether roads. Here's my portal. This is Ellie's over here. I'm very intensely proud of this E behind her portal. It ended up looking so good and clean. It's that way as the nether hub. We'll be going that way in a second. And this is my road to HTC. For point of reference, this is what this road looks like before. As you can see, it was incredibly dangerous and also longer than it needed to be because it looped back on itself. It was the worst and I hated it. The new road is much better. It's got an ice road. It's a lot of fun to use and we are definitely going to be using that in here in just a minute. But first, we actually need to take a trip not to the central shopping district. Oh, work has been going on here. I haven't noticed that. Ah. Somebody has taken inspiration from my nether tunnel over there and put down trap doors. I'm flattered. You don't need to live. So we are taking a trip not to the shopping district, as I was saying, but to the end because Caden has built an Enderman farm. Furthermore, he's made a deal that if we can purchase a license by Saturday, it only costs 25 diamonds. After that, the cost goes up to 50. So before we do anything else, we are securing that deal. What? Why is there a drop off there? How do you get back up? Um, I'll fix it, I promise. There. This is uneaten tacos. Base, by the way. And clearly he needs to work a little bit on logistics. Let's see. Where is... The end portal. I know that he is in fact living inside the end stronghold. That's not it. Oh, hi. Let me fix your spider infestation there, Taco. Oh, that's a beacon. He's right there. I might ask him for directions. Hey, uh, Taco? Knock knock? Hmm. I think he might be AFK. That's unfortunate. Ah, there's some stone bricks over there. I wonder if that is marking the way down into the stronghold. Okay, I'm going to guess not. Just replace this. This looks promising. I see water down there. Hup. Hup. Yeah. -ha. Now let's see where it. Ooh. The... Ah, how cute. Hup. And then there's the Enderman farm. Successful expedition. Instructions and payments. Oh, it is so loud. Yeah, right in here. All right, take one of these. Let's put my name on it. There we are. Oops, 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 not there. Perfect. All right, home again, home again. Whoa. Oh, okay, there's obsidian down there. It's like, I thought that was a hole into the void. Who dug this hole into the void? That's not safe. 
So, speaking of diamonds, you remember that little wager that we had at the start of the season regarding dying and getting everybody's first diamond? Well, we had the award ceremony this last week. Cliff Jumper looks sus. Cliff Jumper always looks sus. He's the mayor, after all. The mayor's always sus. How's everyone doing, by the way? I haven't seen y'all in so long. I've been living the hermit life. We're good, Caden. <laughs> Thank you for answering me, Haven. <laughs> it was bound to happen. I, that's why I put it down. <laughs> up to the front over here over Who's over where sir all right yep. just uh stand right here okay I'll, I'll come stand over here and then who was the other winner was it ari oh all right there are your chairs all right everyone welcome to the ceremony for uh the zero deaths we have two remaining people uh welcome we have caden over here he is a uh pro minecrafter you um, know yeah, and then we I'll have Ari over here, who is wearing a pumpkin head with a uh, no, no. Ari's actually hat. not wearing a pumpkin head. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, we are here to present the diamonds. Who has the diamonds? I think they should. I just think they should death battle. Last person. <laughs> battle to the gets... death between Ari and Caden. Yeah. Last, Last person standing, standing gets, gets the diamonds. The diamonds. Jinx, so, well, it's a good so... thing I have a totem of undying. <laughs> Let's do this thing. All right, you want to do it? You want to do like a battle to the death? We're gonna battle I to mean, death. We, we could do it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Oh sure. God, Is that what we're doing? We're doing battle to death. Battle rounds. Wait, 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 wait. She needs a helmet. She needs a helmet. I agree. Helmet. Or I can take my helmet off. One or the other. Okay. Right over here. Let's let's do it. Yeah, okay. Just okay. Do it everybody everybody make a circle. Here, circle here are up. The diamonds. The Gang diamonds five. Are diamonds are there. Wait. Bets. We're taking bets. We're taking bets. All right. Bets, 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 real quick. Hunter, 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 you before gotta back up, begin, buddy. I put a stack of netherrack on Kanan. Right. <laughs> wow. Uh, right. Circle up. We're gonna need to hear some good cheering, so, uh, fight, yeah. Fight, fight, fight. Uh, 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 Pyrat's the official, so he'll count it down. Maybe a three, two, one. Get set. Line up. <laughs> fight! Go. Round one. Go, Ari! Yay! Come on, Kaden. I've got 15 Woo! diamonds on you. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, we might have an issue nice. here. Hurry! Oh, there it is. Oh. 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 Why is there water? <laughs> oh, come here. This is going on forever. Never gonna end. Yes! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm keeping Ari's head, by the way. Oh, yeah. Don't I look fabulous? Oh. <laughs> there we go. So it so now to even the playing ground, right, are so... we all gonna team up on Caden? What? Yeah! No, 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 yes. no, 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 go, no, 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 Bad plan? No, no, no. Bad, bad. You all need to back off. Actually, actually, I'm all down if y'all want to try to kill me. I, I don't... Oh, okay, that happened quickly. <laughs> get him, no. get him! No, 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 no. Person who kills me gets my head. I want the Caden head. Ah! It's was Taco. Easy. Nice, Taco. <laughs> okay, but I've got the stuff. That was yeah, 25 that diamonds. Was yeah, I was still a little sick, so my voice was a little scratchy. But that was fun anyway. Super fun, in fact. Maybe I have the taste for blood now. So anyway, shall we make a trip out to HTC? It's literally like five minutes shorter now that I have an actual road. The ice I have found is great. If I just run on this road to the end, it's about a minute and 13 seconds. I timed it. In this boat, 15 seconds. And I only had one accident while I was making it. Oh boy, oh boy, you know what the best part about walking is? It's never having to look at where you're going. Now I'm just going to walk to the end of my 2x2 two two road over lava and drop off some building materials. Well, I've made some mistakes. I lost two shulker boxes full of building materials, but say la vie. I'm pretty sure I didn't do this. Did somebody break my packed ice and replace it with regular ice? 
And I know that blue ice would be faster by almost double, but blue ice is expensive. Maybe someday I'll, re I'll replace it. But frankly, I don't mind spending 15 seconds traveling. <laughs> all right, here we are. Now I have a lot to do today. Right now, all I've got is a mine, another portal, a composter, and a house, and some little manual wheat farms. This won't do. This isn't really an industrial zone yet. There's nothing being farmed, except for wheat. Thank you for your service, Mr. Scarecrow. I think I'll name him George. I have a goal, and that goal is that by the end of this episode, I'm going to have a store with stuff in it to sell. So I have a lot of farms to build. So let's jump right into it, shall we? So it's been a week. If you notice, I have not built anything. There are two reasons for that. One reason is that I've been having a creative block. I've been in a single player version of Topia and designing the farms I wanted to make and really struggling. The other reason, you know how I said I was sick last week? Turns out I had COVID. So getting happy and motivated has been a little difficult. I'm still kind of working through it a little bit, but I'm mostly recovered at this point. Just gotta get all this dirt back. So I was hoping to stock my store initially with flowers. The plan is to sell everything that a wandering trader would sell. Have I mentioned that? I'm not sure if I've mentioned that. And I was gonna start with flowers. I have learned so much about flowers. Welcome to Topia Gamma, a single player world that has the same seed as Topia. As you can see, I've totally destroyed it. I have learned a lot about flowers, and this is how they work. In flower forests, you can get almost any flower except for blue orchids. And when you bone meal grass in a flower forest, any given coordinate has a very specific flower that it grows, and it'll grow that one every single time. And it has a little gradient here, as you can see. And it's really cool looking, actually. This is great because this means that I can target specific flowers, like alliums or azure bluets or tulips, bluets, azure bluets. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. The downside is that this gradient is huge. And so I had to come all the way this way to finally find the lilies of the valley. This is a kind of a rare one because it's at one end of the spectrum on the gradient. I was originally going to go down and hide all of this underground. However, I couldn't find the flowers I needed down there. Remembering that every flower has its own coordinate and Y level matters. And so instead of going underground, I'm going to go up, which means I think I'm going to build a skywalk. I'm going to have some glass in the floor so you can see down below. There's going to be vegetation hanging off of it. It's going to be super cool looking. It's also going to be a huge project. <laughs> oh, it's dark. Now that I'm back in regular Topia, I need to go sleep. Now, wait a minute. So thank you for joining me on that quick tutorial on how flowers work in Minecraft. At least the tall ones, like the sunflowers and the roses, will be easy, because I can just bone meal those directly. Oh, hello there, creeper. Don't you go interrupting me. How dare you. And thank you for your gunpowder. So, instead of doing the giant skywalk flower garden, I'm going to instead focus on the other farms I was going to do today, which is cactus, slash bone meal, and wool, for reasons you'll see later. And I'm going to devote an entire episode to getting the flower farms working. So now that I have all of that figured out, and I've designed everything, how about we actually go in and build it, huh? All right, I'm finally done. And the big reveal, at sunset no less, there's the cactus farm, and there's the wool farm. So last episode, I was going to do a quick base tour after I was done building, but because of how long the episode was running, it got cut. So let me do that now. Here's the bedroom. 
I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this space. I was using it for shulker box storage, but better in ender chests. Here's the living room. This pot is a mug. Don't look too hard at it. This is one of my favorite features of the indoors of my house. This little window here. I love it. Storage. Meeting room slash dining room. This is my official banner, by the way. Here's the workshop. Ooh, ah. And that's the interior of the house. Exterior. That's the house. When I was designing these builds, I spent a lot of time looking at uh, ar architectural styles of various people in various time periods. I was hoping to find one that I could kind of emulate a little bit of people who b live on like mountain steps because I was trying to find something that made me think of Wandering Trader Homeland. And I didn't find anything that matched my what I already knew I wanted as a vision. Here's the bridge. It goes to the mine entrance over there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mine entrance. I wanted round and I wanted steep pointy blue roofs. And so I ended up just playing off the cuff. The nether portal, by the way, is also my shipping and receiving. Someday I'll make an order and they can leave it in here. Isn't it a clever door? Make it as hard to find as possible. And now the new stuff. Here's the cactus farm. I'm growing 128 cactus plants. But here's the big thing. I built the cactus farm first because I wanted bone meal. Because I want to do flower farms. You see where I'm going here? I need a lot of bone meal. And so I built this so that I can switch it between what I want. Let's see, how much cactus do I have actually? Ooh, that's beautiful. I'll be back for this. But I think it is time to switch to the bone meal production. <laughs> I'm so excited about how well that works. I'm not a redstoner. I want to learn more, but I'm very much in learning phase. And so figuring out how to switch between the two was really exciting for me because I figured this out on my own. Redstone blocks stop the hoppers, but only the hopper that it's attached to. If both of the levers are in the off position, it'll be like half cactus and half bone meal. It's amazing. I love it. I even threw in an inverter here so that the lamp would be on when the circuit is on, is off. Besides, I'm talking myself in circles. I don't know how redstone works. I wanted the lamp to be on when I'm getting the product that the lamp is associated with. There. And I'm very proud of it. Be proud of me. I figured something out, you guys. Here is the llama pen. What are you doing here? That's definitely a llama. But this is Sophie. She got separated from her wandering trader, and I found her just wandering out over there. And so I rescued her, and now she's my friend. An actual wandering trader llama. Pretty cool. Now over here is the wool farm. This is not something I'm planning on selling, but because I'm going to be building so much in the air that I'm anticipating, I knew I would need large quantities of wool to build things like hot air balloons and stuff, because, I mean, that would be cool! And I'm getting every color of wool here. Now next step, I need to move my llama fleet to HTC where they'll be more comfortable. Hi, Sophie. What are you doing here? This is my hub room, by the way. Four portals go in all the way around. They all go to the same place, of course. Got windows out into the warped forest. I like it. Would you birds stop pretending to be creepers? Now, where's my fleet leader? Come here, Humphrey. You're new. Where'd you come from? Who's become parents? Now come with me, everyone. Yep, everybody line up. We're going on a trip. I've done stranger things. Into your new paddock. I'm sure that you'll find the amenities much more accommodating. And close it up. Awesome. Well, Baby Llama doesn't have a name. Maybe you guys would like to name the new Llama. What do you think it looks like? I'm thinking maybe Derpy. Well, anyway. I'm going to be selling this, so let me grab this cactus. Now it's time for me to open a store. Oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Did I get hit? I heard the sound. Where am I? Okay. Whoa! The, the, <laughs> the arrow did come through, but it missed me. Oh, that's amazing. What is this? Beware the villager? That might be the funniest thing I've ever seen. Anyway, here we are, the future home of my storefront. What's this tree doing here? I thought I got rid of them all. Now let me drop off my supplies. And let's get moving. I love this so much! 
<laughs> George and his soulless stare over there. So the story is done. I call it The Stationary Trader, which is now open for business. Oh, hi, Evie. Uh, I, I, ju I just bought the cactus. Oh, yay! <laughs> it, it came in so handy because I need to make, make cyan die soon. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, very practical. Thank you so much. Good, I'm glad that it was that it was helpful. Oh, I should have an ender chest here, shouldn't I? There. Yep, that works. Yeah. Great, yeah. thank you so much for the ender chest. So this is how I imagine this store working. I will have some stock available at all times here, of course. Right now, I just have cactus and red sand. And Evie's right, I think I'm going to up the price of red sand just because it's going to become slowly more rare. Otherwise, I envision getting orders from my catalog of things that I will sell. There's such a list. Did you know that wandering traders sell all of this? Gunpowder? So people will look through the catalog and then place an order over here. I'm not yet doing orders because I don't have the ability to get most of this stuff yet. But once the flower farms are up, I figure that that will be a good time. I'll be able to sell the flowers and the dyes, which I imagine is where I'm going to get most of my em of my diamonds. I'm not selling these for emeralds. What am I saying? The wandering trader in me is starting to emerge. And so once I've got the flower farms going, I'll open up the ability for orders. And the rest of this, I figure, except for slime balls... I can get manually pretty easily without having a farm going, and I can get farms going for most of the stuff, as much of it as I can. And I figure I'll run a special offer once in a while. Obviously, it's already panned out for me. So yeah, that's the plan. And just upstairs is a little place to sleep, because there's not a lot of great places to sleep at spawn yet. And now there is, because, you know, wandering traders, we need somewhere to sleep. Wandering, you know. So, bed breakfast and you can look out through the eyes of the trader now you too can be a wandering trader i love this guy so much he's my favorite with that that is far and away all that we have time for i hope you guys had a wonderful time please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i will see you next time goodbye